Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about what is the best free VPN service to use now. Now here on the channel, I don't usually recommend free VPN services to people because generally they are very limited. You have slower speeds usually, you have less servers, it doesn't work with streaming, sometimes it doesn't even work with torrenting, and mostly it's the limitation of having not that much data to use that means you're not going to be able to use it for very long. However, that said, if you're on an extremely limited budget, these can be good in a pinch. Not only that, some of the VPNs out there that offer free services can be good to use actually as paid services. That means you kind of know how to use the application, you're already signed up, and then you can pay if you do want to use it. And it's a good way to kind of test out a VPN as well. So those are some of the pros of using free VPNs. That said, there are a lot of free VPNs on the market and not all of them are equal in terms of how good they are. So in this video, we're gonna be com comparing some of the most popular free VPNs out there and helping you decide which one you should use based on some of my opinions and observations on them. So guys, let's get into some of the ones out there. So the important thing about this video is that I'm being very objective. I'm gonna have a list of requirements that these VPNs have to pass to be ordered for recommended as the best free VPN service. I think you guys can agree that some of these are the most important things to look for. No major security vulnerabilities, having a good amount of data that you can use for free, option to try the premium plan if you want, just to see if you like the premium service, no cap on speeds, and there's no ad trackers on the website to track you in the back end. First off, we could talk about Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a pretty good VPN in a lot of respects. It works pretty good with streaming and stuff like that, and it's pretty easy to use. It is a bit of a newcomer though, and I also don't really like the back end of the website. If we take a look at Atlas VPN, you can see that it has a lot of ad trackers, a lot of third-party cookies, and even it used Google Analytics to kind of track you that way, which isn't that privacy friendly. It's not the worst option out there, and the paid plan is okay, um, but I don't really know too much about it, and the owners aren't very transparent with this one, so it's kind of a hit or a miss. Next up, we have something like TunnelBear. Um, which isn't very recommended. It only has 500 megabytes of browsing, which is extremely limited um, compared to some of their options out there. So TunnelBear, I don't think it's really worth using, and especially since other plans aren't really that good either. Five simultaneous uh, device use is low, and overall the service doesn't really feel that updated anymore compared to how it used to be back in the day. One of the better VPNs, or one of the more popular ones, now no one really talks about it or really uses it. Next up we have Winscribe, which is another popular free VPN service. I think almost like half of the people that use Winscribe are free or something like that. I don't really know the latest statistics. Um, it does have like a paid plan, which is decent. Um, but it's actually kind of hard to find the free plan on the website and you can really only start using it like once you download the application. I wish the website had a little bit more transparency and what limitations the free thing has. You kind of have to dig around a little bit by using Google or another search engine to even find information about the free plan. Like I said, you can find information about it if you dig around enough. You get around 10 gigabytes a month for free, but you do kind of have some stipulations. According to them, um, you have to have an email as well as sign up for the promotion emails which is kind of dumb so that could cut your data significantly as well additionally winscribe isn't the best at securing their vpn there's been a lot of issues lately they didn't like encrypt some servers or properly verify them or something like that um you could see other articles tons of ones doing uh research on that if you want to look into that more they also had some issues with their chrome extension a long time ago leaking user ips which is really bad so honestly this one is okay um and the the premium service is okay as well but it's not my one to really recommend anymore, especially since those security issues and it's annoying to find information about it. And there's also a lot of um, restrictions on, you know, the data that you can use, having to subscribe to emails and all that stupid stuff. ProtonVPN is an okay one. However, it does have some serious limitations here. Um, you only have three countries available, one VPN connection, and it gives you only medium speed. There's also a lot of other restrictions that the other plans don't have. Um, this one is, I don't know, it's okay. The other plans are also kind of expensive, um, but probably not my go-to recommendation for the best free VPN. Finally, we want to come to my most recommended free VPN option, which is going to be Hide.me. This is an excellent service and it doesn't have any of the problems that the other ones had. There's no, there's not been any like major security vulnerabilities in the past that has a very transparent and trusted team. If you look them up in the black light, you can see here, hide.me. Yep, the right web page. There's no trackers or anything like that on the website. It's completely clean that way. So it's very trusted. You get five locations, one connection, 
But the good thing is there's no speed decreases or anything like that. And 10 gigabytes is as much as you could pretty much get with a free VPN. Um, it also has no logs or no ads either, which is really good. The cool thing is I would actually recommend this is one of the best VPNs as well to upgrade to the premium plan. The premium plan is excellent. They have one of the best applications out there. Um, amazing customer support that's going to respond quicker than the other options I already outlined. It has a one hour ticket response time. Um, they responded to my tickets within 40 minutes, which is insanely good. Like I said, it has one of the best applications out there. It's extremely customizable. And not only that, but the paid version speeds are really, really good too. The cool thing about that is that with the free plan with this one, another reason why I recommend it as the best VPN compared to the other ones is that it does give you like a small little trial to upgrade to the premium plan for a couple days. So if you like the free plan, but you're kind of tired of the restrictions, you could even try out the premium plan as well which makes it definitely the best free VPN in my opinion compared to any of the other options out there, even regardless of anything else I already said. So this one is definitely the go-to guys if you want the best free VPN service. Find the link down in the description down below to get the free VPN access. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video very soon.